Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm gonna show you how you can create a pose asset uh, from uh, multiple meshes and uh, uh, do it only in uh, Arial Engine. This is uh, inspired uh, by the tutorial of uh, Peter, uh, Peter Shoferistov, I'm gonna show you immediately his uh, video. One second. It looks very strange and ugly, but this is uh, his tutorial, and uh, he's using Blender in uh, uh, some uh, some parts of his uh, video. But uh, we will uh, attempt to to skip the Blender part and just use Mesh Marker, right? So let's get into it. First of all, we're gonna import our. Uh, let's remove these OBJ files. These are from preview experiments. And uh, we're gonna import our base FBX exported from a character created for. Uh, use T0 as ref pose, morph targets. Uh, you can enable LODs as well and uh, click import okay and uh, we're gonna duplicate this uh, base file this base skeletal mesh and we will call it slacker and re-import with new file and select the uh, slacker uh, character exported from character uh, creator form, right? So, let's wait. Okay, this is the slacker character, right? And, uh, this is our base character and we want to create uh, a pose asset from current pose, right? So pose asset, we're gonna name it pose asset, asset CC4 and press OK. When this opens, you can delete this pose. And uh, I, I've made a preview video, but uh, there was a problem because the root bone was uh, detached uh, from the ground and uh, we had uh, floating characters. But uh, I think it was my fault in uh, that workflow. And uh, with this workflow, we will attempt to solve that, right? So we're gonna open Slacker character and uh, create asset. Uh, and insert pose into our previously created uh, pose asset, right? And we're gonna name this lacquer pose. And as you can see, uh, uh, the, the character transforms, the character skeleton transforms uh, to the slacker skeletal mesh, right? Okay, let's show retarget options here. Well, we would need uh, to uh, retarget to orient and scale. And click save. So this is it uh, for this aspect of the, of the of the video. Let's uh, rename this. Let's call it Slacker Pause and save now we we move the slider to maximum and uh, we will uh, create an animation from current pose this is uh, a pose uh, we're gonna use in uh, in uh, mesh Marvel, right okay let's save everything so we don't have any surprises and now we can open Mesh Morpher. This is how uh, 
uh, the slacker looks in mesh morpher but we need base mesh and uh, for the base mesh we are gonna use the slacker pose we just created right so we're gonna use this pose uh, you can uh, actually let's do one thing clear we're gonna go to create from pose select here uh, the slacker pose and we will create a morph target right so we're gonna have slacker pose skeleton and we will create a morph target okay let's uh, go back to mesh morph for main uh, window and uh, we will export uh, this uh, morph target one obj we need this and uh, we will call this let me navigate to our project I have no clue where I saved those files. That's fine. Uh, what was the name? Slacker Pose Skeleton. Okay, we can close this. And now we can select the pose. We just created pose animation sequence. And now we can load it in Mesh Morpher. You can see the uh, character the, the mesh is changed and we go to create from mesh files here uh, we we can uh, do uh, two things but I think we need to export the slacker as well so let's export let's create a morph target from this one as well it from mesh file and we're gonna use uh, the base FBX to create uh, a new morph target and then we're gonna select the slacker FBX to create a new morph target I think this is the best way slacker final we're gonna name it like this because we need the same vertex count right I set some smoothing iterations to zero. We need the same vertex count and the slacker skeletal mesh apparently on import has a different uh, vertex count, right? So we're going to do this, go back to the base uh, main window and export uh, this one to OBJ file. And this is going to be the slacker OBJ file. And this is how it's gonna look. It's perfect. And now we can create the uh, select the pose animation pose, create from mesh files, and uh, select the slacker pose skeleton. And then we can select the slacker OBJ we just export. Now we we got it good, right? So we're gonna name this slacker pose. Set the uh, uh, smooth iterations to zero. okay uh, the morph target was created uh, if uh, we check it in mesh morpher we're gonna see oh let's remove the pose if we check it in mesh morpher we're gonna see it uh, it's gonna look a little bit odd uh, but uh, it, this is the way it's supposed to look and, uh, if uh, we go back to the pose uh, asset just to close everything this is a thing, just make a little bit of room. Okay. Save everything. Open the pose asset. And uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, we have our slacker character and we can morph from base to the slacker character easy right so this is it for this video guys uh, and uh, see you around bye